it's getting closer. So I've been thinking about what's, you know, what's about to happen. I've been trying to push myself like extra hard because I'm so afraid to get there and not be prepared and get crushed. Neil and I have talked about this a lot. It's really setting her up to understand that the reason why you feel like this pressure is because now you have more training built. You now are the champion of the South region, okay? And now all these things are in place, sponsorship, et cetera, that, that she feels pressure from. So what I try to do is just explain it to him, like remove all of that. It's not last year anymore, it's Neil. This is this year, you're a different person, a different athlete, you have more training built, you have a better process of recovery in place. And that, that essentially will lead her to build confidence in what she's currently doing um, and take her out of this mental state of like, ah, I remember what it felt like, I, I, what is it gonna feel like again this year? See, I'm doing all the cleaning in here. And Tyler's doing all the cleaning at home. Before I was married and had Tyler and Taya, I would uh, come home from training and be so tired. I have no energy to like. What does that? What does that mean? Do my hair. I can't, what do the wings go out, mean? Meet anyone? Oh, to have fly. that kind of social fly? life. I gotta wake up. I gotta train tomorrow. I gotta eat right. I gotta cook all my food. Like, yeah. So then I met Tyler and uh, kind of changed change the game. You know, when I first met Tanil, we were training at the same gym. Very athletic and very high energy. Those are my two first impressions. Tanil now is extremely focused. Uh, she's got an amazing foundation. And what I mean by that is she, she knows what she wants. Uh, she's very family oriented. I think a lot of people don't realize that. Uh, and that's really the base of everything that she does, even though she's so involved in, in CrossFit. Goes back to that old adage, it's, it's what I do, not who I am. I'm just proud of Tanil. I think just being able to share this experience with her, to me, is special. I, it's, it's the best thing that ever happened to me, other than my daughter. But Tanil is just, uh, she's one of a kind. She makes, and I think you've probably seen this, she makes everybody around her better. Tanil's training, well, it is much. To, to be honest, it's the refinement and um, building her confidence. All the, all the pretty much the similar characteristics that we've done in the past couple of weeks, but just at a higher intensity and a lower, lower overall total volume. What people need to recognize and understand about her training is, you know, when they, when they look at it, it may not seem like it's that much, but it's the amount of energy and emotion that she puts into each session, which really dictates the intensity that is elicited. Every time she goes into a session, I have a good conversation with her, like this needs to feel what it feels like. So then when she gets to the competition, it's nothing new. It's, it's those types of situations, how she's gonna warm up, how she's gonna breathe prior to, what she's mentally preparing for, what it's gonna feel like, how she's gonna breathe during the piece. All those small little minute details is exactly what the training is right now. refinement of those small things which will separate her, her from the rest um, and ultimately lead her to a successful CrossFit Games weekend. The last two weeks it's gotten a lot better. You know, I, you start to feel like I'm handling all this volume well. You know, I like found myself saying a lot, Mike, I'm not sore. I'm not even sore anymore. Or like it'd be like the third or fourth day in a row and I'd be like, man, I feel better today than I felt yesterday. 
it's good because it's like a good sign that I'm like recovering better and that's like one of the biggest things that I wanted to change from last year is I wanted to feel like I could recover better you know because that's what you need that's the most important thing in such a long competition I've been asked that question more and more. Uh, is Tennille ready? You know, how does she feel? Um, I think the best uh, response to that is actually something that she told me. Her nerves are getting a little bit more sensitive. Um, she's a little bit more agitated. She's uh, a, a little bit more refined in everything that she's doing. There's a little less chatter in the gym and there's a little bit more focus. Um, that's when I know Tennille's ready. PR back squat, multiple other good things have come from this sector of training. Um, and I think that's all just on her, in, in her mind. She's just mentally feeling more and more prepared. The other major piece that I want to emphasize, I guess, in her readiness overall, is the true magic is Tanil's brain saying, I'm going to go do this. And once you decide that as a human and you just allow everything else to fall aside, you make that one decision, um, I believe that's what you know champions are all about. Well, I want to win. You know, I, I, man, I want to win so bad. It'd be so fun to win. You know, it'd be like, I'm the fittest on earth. Are you kidding me? And you know how fun it would be to tell Tyler I was the fittest woman on earth all year long? It'd be like, honey, I know it's hard to keep up with me because I'm the fittest on earth. <laughs> I love winning. I don't, I don't care about what everybody thinks of me. I don't. I don't care if people think I need to win. What I really care about is pushing, is making myself proud. It's not for anything but because I just want to achieve the goal myself. Really, you know, Tennille's story is a, is a cool one. You know, she, she went from a place of uh, not being successful in the regional and then ultimately coming to OPEX and, and with me for the last three and a half, almost four years now and being successful at the CrossFit Games twice now um, and, and ultimately going there this year to, to do some damage. Um, but to me, that whole entire journey, um, it's been a learning experience more than anything. I think people forget as a coach, um, you learn so much from your clients and athletes. I think, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I've learned as much as I have from Tennille as she's learned from me as a coach. And <clears throat> yeah, she's, she's a special individual. And I, uh, I hope she knows that. back on this and be like wow I made it through that I I can do hard things you know God gives you challenges to make you stronger he's teaching you something you know but usually those challenges don't come at something that you asked for. I asked for this. I'm sure there'll be life challenges down the road, but because I've gone through stuff like this, I know I'll be able to like buckle down and get through any of that stuff. These kind of things just make you stronger.